Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to add chat group skills to Survival Game Kit V1. So to get started we're going to go over to our uh, Survival Game Kit V1 project and we're going to go to project settings then to the collision tab and we're going to create a new preset so we'll just hit the new button we're going to call this chat area we'll set the collision enable to query only um, we'll leave object type as static and then we're just going to tick ignore like that and hit accept. Then we're going to migrate over our uh, chat group skills files. So I'm just going to head back over to that project and we'll right click the main folder here and we'll just do uh, migrate. Hit OK. And then we're going to go to our survival game kit um, project. So for me, that's in documents, uh, Unreal, and we want. Um, this one here, so game kit uh, vid, and go to content and then just hit select folder. So that will uh, send all of our files across. And we've got that over here now. Now we'll start by going over to the survival game kit uh, character, sorry, not character, blueprints. Then we need to go to characters and we're going to open up the survival game mode. Now we'll just drag that over here. And in our class defaults, we're going to set the uh, player state class to our CGG player state. And we're going to also set the game state class to our uh, CGG game state. If you've uh, created your own um, game state or uh, player state um, to use in the Survival Game Kit project, um, all you need to do is go to those blueprints and add the um, game state component. And in the player state, you'd need to add the player state component, um, but that's all you'll need to do for those. Now, um, Survival Game Kit V1 doesn't have a controller blueprint itself. It just uses the um, built-in Unreal one. Um, so we can just use the um, controller that comes with um, chat group skills. So to do that, you can just go to player controller class and select um, chat, the CGG player controller, which I'm gonna do. Um, but if you have created your own controller, all you need to do is go to that controller, add in the um, CGG controller component, and then you'll want to copy over the key binds to open and close like the social menu over into your um, controller instead. But I'm just using a default um, Survival Game Kit V1, so I'm just going to use the controller that comes with um, chat group skills. Next, we're going to set up the um, character. So we're going to go to our Survival Game Kit, Blueprints and Characters again. And in the master character, we'll just open that up. And first, we'll add a component. And we're going to add the nameplate component. And we're also going to select the capsule component and add a widget. So this is for our health bar above our character's head. And once we've done that, we'll just compile. Next, we'll set our widget settings. So with our widget component selected, um, space needs to be set to screen. We want the widget class to be set to a uh, floating nameplate. Now, um, if you don't want health bars, you can just select floating nameplate one. But if you do, we can select um, floating nameplate two. Um, then we're going to set the draw size to 340 by 160. These are the default sizes I recommend. You can try playing with them um, if you want, um, but these are the ones I found work best for our widget. Um, and then down here on pivot, we want to set Y to one and then we can compile this. Now, uh, when we hit play, we should um, get our chat come up here. We've got our nameplate up at the top as well. Um, if I use the, um, the keys to open up our social menu, that's all working as well. Um, but you can see our chat's kind of overlapping our health bars and stuff, so you may wanna change that. To do that, all we need to do is in our um, chat group skills, we can just search for HUD, and we can find the chat, uh, chat group skills HUD open that up and in here you can just move around the widgets as you like so say maybe I wanted my um, chat to be over the side here I can do that something to remember when you're moving around widgets like this is the anchor point if I move it over here and leave the anchor point here the chat might not be in this screen position so um, it's best to change the anchor to whatever side the um, widgets closest to so for us that will be this corner here so I'll just change the anchor to that so that will just make sure our widget stays in the uh, position we want it to then we can compile and if I hit play now, you can see that my chat's over there. Next, we're just gonna head back to our master character quickly because I uh, forgot to position the widget. So if we double click on that, it should open up your viewport. And we can just move this to um, wherever we want, but I'm gonna set mine to um, 85 in the Z, just because that's the default spot from the um, 
chat groups guilds character and it's um, where I want to position it but you can put it wherever you like we'll just compile and save this as well now because I'm using the game state that comes with chat groups guilds there is a change we're going to need to make to that um, if you have your own game state that you're already using you won't have to do this but um, if you're using the chat uh, group guilds um, game state you just need to go into the that folder then blueprints then we'll go to characters and we'll open up CGG game state and in here we want to change the uh, we'll go to class settings and set the parent class to game state like that it might take a second to load but then just compile and we're okay with that now now heading back to our master character we're going to go to class settings and we're going to add a new interface so we'll click add and search for name we want to add the name interface panel and we'll just compile and you should get um, some new interface events over here now um, for these we're just going to copy the code that um, the CGG character already has so we'll just uh, go over to that it's just in the characters folder open up CGG character and go to interfaces nameplate and we'll start with replace name we'll just do control A and copy all of this we'll go over to our master character and go to the same um, function so we'll just double click that we'll paste it in take the beginning node which we'll connect this up to the is valid at the beginning um, then we're going to right click this uh, player state component and do create variable and we're going to right click the player ID and do create a variable and we can delete this uh, extra return node now we'll do the same thing with the player ID so again we'll go to the CGG character player ID and we'll copy all of this open the same function up in our uh, master character and paste those in we'll take the beginning node plug this into the is valid we we'll delete this return node um, we don't need to create any variables for this one so uh, we can move on to uh, show name panel just double click that make sure this is ticked on this is what controls whether or not the um, the name panel above the uh, player's head is visible um, then we'll go on to guild so we need to copy the code from the guild one so in here we'll just copy all of it and paste it into the same place on the master character take the beginning node and just connect that up to our is valid and delete this return node um, now we just need to right click player guild create a variable and then uh, lastly we've got name so I'll just open that up on my master character and open the same place up here copy all of that paste this into our master character and then do the same thing again with the beginning node and lastly we just want to right click player display name and do create variable and compile and save this now next we want to go to the um, controller component that comes with uh, chat group skills so we're going to go to blueprints components and open up the um, sorry not the controller component we want the player state component so we'll just open that up we'll go to the event graph and here we're just going to copy the code um, highlighted here and we'll head over to the player inventory component um, so just in your survival game kit search for player inventory open that up and uh, we're going to search for set player name and just open up that collapse node now if you've already integrated steam into your survival game kit um, you won't need to make this change because you'll have your steam code uh, plugged into the player name um, but if you don't if you're still using the default code code for the player name we'll just paste in the code we copied and connect that up to player name this just makes sure that our player inventory and the chat group skills have the same name um, if you do have steam already integrated um, in our player state component here you'll just need to add pretty much the same code from your player inventory component um, you want to set the um, player ID so the new player ID that wants to be your steam uh, unique ID um, and then from your steam unique ID you can drag out and get the um, persona name and that's your steam username that you see on people's accounts and you want to plug that into the change player display name here because um, I'm not using steam I'm just using a base the base version of survival game kit um, I'm just going to be using the the default default code but um, yeah if you're using steam this is where you need to change it um, there is a guide as well in the um, documentation for chat group skills on um, how to add steam as well but the main part is you just need to um, plug these two nodes into your uh, steam information so now we can test it out if we hit play it might take a while to load because it has to recompile some blueprints but you can see we've got our player name our chats working um, we've got our uh, social menu here and everything should be set up so I could create a new guild if I wanted to 
Um, and even if I uh, quit the game and jump back in, you'll see our uh, guild is loading up um, as well. Now currently our health isn't displaying um, yet above our character's head because our character doesn't have a health component and that's where it gets its health values from. Um, and then the same for our uh, self panel up in the top left hand corner, you can see it's not displaying any health. Um, but we'll set that up now to use the survival game kit health. So we're going to go to the floating nameplate first. So in our chat groups guilds, we'll just search for floating. We want to go to the nameplate too because that's the one that has our health bar here. Uh, in the event graph, we'll go over to updates. We'll start with the health text amount. And in here, we're just going to move this section down a bit so we've got some space. And we're pretty much just going to copy this code. Um, and we want to connect this up to the is not valid. So what this will do is check if our actor has a health component. If not, then we'll check um, if we have a player inventory component. So we'll search for player inventory. Um, and if we do, uh, we want to set that. So we'll promote to a variable, we'll just call this player inventory and connect it up to is valid. Now we're just going to copy this section here, paste it down here and connect that up from the set node. And over here, we want to get our player inventory. We're going to get our um, health and we're going to get our max health as well. And we'll plug those in um, to replace these nodes. So we can just delete these and plug those in here and here. And then we're going to uh, plug the is not valid um, down here and then the same for this as well. And then we'll move on to our health bar amount. And we're pretty much going to do the same thing. So we'll just move this out of the way. We'll copy paste this down here. Um, if it's valid, oh, we want to set the component class here to player inventory. If it's valid, we'll do set player inventory. We don't need to create a variable this time because we've just made one. And we'll copy this, paste it, ooh, paste it over here like that. Connect it up from the set node. And we want to um, get our player inventory over here. Do you get current, sorry, get, get health and get max health as well. Um, we'll plug those in here and here. We'll just delete these old nodes. Um, we also want to add in an is valid checkup here, which I forgot to do in our last function, but we'll go back and do that. So we'll add an is valid here. We want this to be plugged into is not valid and we'll get our player inventory. And if is valid, we want to run this code over here. Um, you can spend a bit more time tidying this up if you want. I'll just add some reroute nodes so it's a little bit cleaner. Um, so if our player inventory is already valid, we don't need to run this code. We can just go straight to setting the health amount. Um, and then if not valid, oh, didn't mean to do that. If not valid, we'll just plug these in down here. And we'll do the same thing um, in our health text amount. Just add that is valid in here. And then if not valid, we do this. We want to get our player inventory as the input object and is valid. We'll run that same code. Again, I'll try and tidy up a little bit. So we'll just add some reroute nodes here just to tidy it up. Um, and now we're done with our uh, health in here. So now we can test this out. If we hit play, you can see that our health is now actually displaying. Uh, if I went over to the damage zone, it should reduce. Yep, when we enter the damage zone, and that's now using our soil game kit health instead. Now we need to do the same thing with our um, self panel and our group panels. So we'll search for uh, self in the chat groups guilds. And we'll open that up. And we're pretty much going to do uh, the same thing. So get health bar amount. You can see that there's some information here if you um, want to learn more about um, how it gets the health amount. But what we're going to do is basically get the um, owning player pawn. We'll do get component uh, by class. We'll do uh, inventory. Oh, sorry, player inventory like that. We'll do uh, drag out and do an is valid. Oh, not that is valid. It is valid. And if um, our health component is not valid, then we want to use our um, move this out of the way. We want to use our player inventory. Um, so if is valid, we'll just copy this code, plug that in here. And we'll drag out and do get current health, or sorry, get health, and plug that into the top and get max health. And if we, uh, we can actually just copy this um, and then reuse it in our health amount text. So 
push paste it in here um, and we'll move these out of the way a little bit like that so if not valid um, we want to run this if this is valid then we need a new uh, return node so we'll copy this and paste it down here so it's a little bit out of the way we'll move some of these to give us some space um, we want to if it is valid we run this code we want our health variables over here so health into current and max health into max we'll delete this um, and then if not valid we want to run this code down here um, and then we can compile and save this and then lastly we've got our group um, I believe it's group member panel uh, this one oh no group member name panel there we go this one so it's group member name panel and then the same thing in here we'll go to health text amount and in here we want to do um, we'll copy this code and if not valid we want to check is um, we'll delete that we'll get a component by class so it's to player inventory we want to do get health and get max health we go and if this is valid plug that in here if not valid we'll just run this code or to keep it a bit tidy I'll copy paste this down here um, and we can move these up and we'll just copy this here paste that in so if is valid we want to use our health from our player inventory so we'll just connect this up here and this to max like that and then in health bar percent, uh, we're basically going to do the same thing. So we'll just copy these two here. We'll do uh, get component by class. Do um, the uh, player inventory component. And we'll do an is valid check to make sure it's valid. So if it's not valid, we'll plug it in here. I'll actually change on our previous one. So we'll plug it into this is not valid. Um, we'll copy this section of code. So if is valid, again, we'll just get health and get max health. Plug that into the top and the bottom. And then if not valid, we'll just return zero. So I'll copy paste that return node there. So it should look like this. Um, and I'll do the same thing in here. I actually plugged this is valid into the wrong place. So we'll reconnect this up to here. Um, and we'll connect this from this is not valid like that so it should look like this once you're done now there's a couple of other things that we can do um, you may not want the nameplate to be over the character's head when they're dead say laying on the floor dead so um, we can uh, go to our, our master character in the survival game kit um, if you do want the health bar or the nameplate to be above the character's dead body you don't have to do this part um, but if you don't we're just going to do get character dead then we'll do a not, not boolean, and plug that in here. So now our uh, nameplate will hide whenever our character dies. Um, and then secondly, you may want um, the chat um, interface to be hidden um, when you're in your inventory. So um, you may want to hide the chat um, just so it's not interfering with any of the uh, UI. Um, if you don't want to do that, you don't have to do that part, um, but I'll show you how to do that now. So we'll go to the player inventory, so we'll just search for that open that up and in here we're going to go to the toggle inventory and in here we'll do um, oh, we want to get master character then we'll drag out and do get controller and from that we'll do uh, get component by class and this will let us access our um, our chat group skills controller component so we'll do search for CG controller component and that gives us access to all of the functions in there. So we can do hide uh, CG HUD like that. So it'll be hidden when we open up our inventory and we just copy these nodes. And we wanna do the unhide over here because of this as, uh, is valid. So we'll drag out and do uh, unhide. And we want the unhide CG HUD. Just connect that up here. And then we can compile. So now we can test this out if we hit play. Um, we've got our characters here it's actually loading up a save um, and our health is all working or should be um, and if we die um, 
you'll see that our health bar um, or our nameplate, sorry, disappears. So I'll just wait for him to die. Um, and I'll switch over to the um, other character. You can see that his nameplate's hidden. Um, if we respawn, um, we get our health bars back um, and everything's working correctly. Now, um, the one last thing um, I'll show you how to do is you may want to use the nameplates on build parts. Um, if you don't, then you don't have to follow this part of the video. Um, but if you do at some point in the future want to add, say, nameplates to uh, a build part um, and you want it to display the correct health, all we need to do is go back to our floating nameplate um, 2 and we'll start with the health text amount. We're pretty much going to do the same thing we've uh, done with the um, player inventory. So we'll um, copy paste this here, we'll paste that in, and we're going to do a cast to master build part. And actually, we don't need this as valid. We'll plug this into the is not valid. If it is a build part, we can set a variable, we'll call it build part, and we'll copy and paste this code over here and paste it in here. Plug that into the uh, branch over here. So uh, we set a build part and then um, over here, instead of doing it from the uh, player inventory, we'll get the build part. And from that we can get health. And we can also get the uh, max health. Plug those in here. We can delete these nodes out of the way. Um, and then if cast fails, we wanna run this code down here just to hide the health bar. Um, and then up here, we wanna do an is valid check. So uh, from our is not valid, uh, we'll do is valid. Uh, we'll move this out of the way a little bit. We'll plug our build part into here. And if it's not valid, we want to uh, run our checks to see uh, what type of blueprint it is. Um, but if it is valid, then we want to run this code down here that we've just pasted in. Um, you can tidy it up a little bit more. I'll just move some rear nodes here just to make it cleaner. So um, we check if it's a build part. If it is, then we get our health from our build part. Um, and if it's a player inventory, we get our health from our player inventory. So we'll do the same thing in our health bar amount as well. So um, we'll just move this down a little bit. We will get our nameplate actor, cast it to master build part, connect that up to the is not valid on this one. Um, if it is, we can just set the uh, build part variable that we've just created. Um, we need to copy paste this code here. Uh, we'll move it over here and we can plug that into the branch. Um, we need to um, do the health variables here. So we'll get our health build part, get health, we'll get max health and get health. And we want our health plugged into the top one and max health plugged into the bottom. And we'll move those over here. And then uh, if the cast fails, we'll just run the uh, code down here. And uh, we need our is valid up here. So off of is not valid, is valid. And we'll get our build part. And we want this to be is not valid if, uh, to run this code. If is valid, we'll run the code just down here. Um, and I'll add some reroute nodes just to try and tidy up a little bit. So like that. Remember, if you're adding nameplates to um, other blueprints, you will need the nameplate component and that uh, interface all set up. Um, I have in the documentation a separate video that just goes through the whole process of um, adding nameplates to other build parts. So um, if you want to do that, I suggest looking at that video. Um, but we're pretty much done for this. Um, we've got chat group skills all working with our survival game kit. It loads up. Um, we can group up with our players and everything's uh, running correctly. So thank you for watching.